Today, what I'm going to be showing you is how to use Midscene JS, which is a fully free autonomous agent that can control your browser and do all sorts of crazy stuff. So as an example, this is completely free to set up. I'll show you how to set it up in a second. You can just get a quick Chrome extension. It doesn't take long to get this deployed at all. And you can see here how it can basically navigate websites. It can create content for you. It can even search a web view. Pretty powerful stuff. This is Midseam JS on the right hand side. So you don't need to be a coder or anything like that to set up. You can run this locally as well. I'll show you how to do that later. But essentially what's wild about this is you can basically automate an agent in your browser completely free. Then it can go around, navigate the web for you. And before you know it, you don't even need to click any buttons or search Google yourself anymore. So if you're wondering, okay, how do you get it set up? I'll give you a link with all the documents and all the code that I mentioned today, but essentially you can get this for free. Just search midscene.js on the Chrome extension store. And then from there, you can download it like you see right here. And once it's downloaded, it's going to look something like this, right? One of the things I would warn you about now is that more and more of these agents are going to be coming out. I can expect, for example, ChatGPT, Google, all these other APIs probably going to release their own autonomous agents on Chrome and other browsers this year. It's just a matter of time. So it's really important to start understanding how these work in a minute, which is why it's so important to test and run these right now, because you can imagine the internet is going to be navigated in a totally different way in the future, right? Especially if AI can just do most of the stuff for you. So once you've got the Chrome extension, like you'd see right here, you then go into select the mid scene.js Chrome extension icon over here in the top right on Chrome. And then from here, what you want to do is integrate this now, from here, if you want to get free access to this, if you want to run it for free, don't pay for the AI, don't pay for the Chrome extension, etc., then you can use the code that I have right here and just integrate this with your own API key, right? So how this works essentially, now there's all sorts of models you can insert into this, right? So you can choose loads of different models. There's loads of custom ones. For example, you can use Gemini and you can actually use 2.0 Flash as well, but we're just going to use 1.5 Pro to show you some examples today. Additionally, you can also use Claude, GPT-40, et cetera, right? Pretty easy and simple to set up. Now, if you didn't know it already, Claude have released computer usage, which is another kind of autonomous agent that can click through your browser, click some buttons, et cetera. But the difference here is number one, this is hosted in a sandbox. So it can't really interact with what you have live on the screen. It's going to be in a, a sort of a separate environment, a virtual environment. And number two, this is actually pretty hard to set up. Right, you need to use terminal. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hassle back and forth. Whereas essentially with the mid scene JS Chrome extension is really simple and it doesn't have to interact with just the virtual environment. It can interact with whatever screen you have currently up, right? So how this works, if you want to run it for free is that you use this piece of code right here and you're just going to paste this into this section, right? The environment config. So you take this code like, and all the notes are inside my free chat GPT SEO course. If you want to get access to this link in the comments and description, just go to free SEO tools and then mid scene JS once you've logged in. And so we can take this code, grab that, go to edit over here, paste that in. And then you can see how I've inserted my API key here. So here's what it looks like once it's filled in. So it's got the reference to the API that we're using. It's got the API key inserted. I'll show you how to get that in a second. And then it's got the name of the mid scene model we're using, right? Which is Gemini 1.5 pro as you can see right here. Now, if you want to get a free API key, just go to aistudio.google.com forward slash API key. You can get a free one and then just click on get API key, create an API key, and then you can get one just like you see right here. Not paid, completely free. Just copy that, paste it into the code we were talking about before. So you paste it right here after the quote marks, then you grab that, plug it in over on mid scene JS. And that's what it's going to look like once it's plugged in. Now, once you get your head around that, it takes about 60 seconds or so to actually get all of this set up. And once it's set up and running, you don't need to mess around with it again. So as an example of that, if you go to a Google doc and I'm like, don't fancy writing the content myself today. I'm just going to get someone else to do it for me. And so we're going to get mid scene JS to actually write content for us. I'm going to say, write about SEO for me. We'll hit run. What this is actually going to do is start screenshotting the Google doc. So you can see down here, it's looking at the Google doc. It's planning it out. It's figuring out, okay, how are we going to write the content? Then it's looking inside the document body. And now you can see that it's actually beginning to start writing inside the doc, right? Pretty crazy. It's just interacting with my browser. 
It's taking screenshots. You can see where it's navigating and what it's doing right here. And it's even taking a screenshot of the finalized block, right? And it's done right there. And this is scary stuff because anything admin related, where it's just like clicking buttons and you don't really need too much thought about that. You can imagine three months, six months, 12 months down the line, you're probably not going to hire someone to do like virtual system work like that. You, instead, you would use an AI that can number one, do it faster. Number two, do it with less errors. And number three, doesn't cost you anything because like you can see, we've done all of this for free. The Chrome extension is free. The API is free. None of this cost us a penny. And we just generated a blog on a Google Doc. Let's try another thing. Let's say, for example, plan out. Now, this is very different to say something like ChatGPT where you can search the web or you can actually generate outputs, but it's not going to interact with your Chrome browser. That's the difference here is this is all of a sudden getting pretty real because now it can interact with your real world and it can interact with your screen. It can interact with your documents and it can control the whole screen for you. In many ways, you could say that's quite dangerous. Let's try another thing now. So what I've done here is I've actually gone onto Ahrefs and said, find me some SEO keywords. And it's not done it perfectly. This is a very beta version of the project. So it has done the search for me, but it's just searched for something like SEO keywords. So I think you need to be a bit more specific with the prompt. I'm not going to be SEO and tell you this is magic and it's going to change your world today. But for example, if we say, okay, find keywords related to agencies that my SEO agency could rank for. Maybe if we get more specific with the prompt, we can see how that performs and what sort of outputs we get back from it. So now it's actually searching for SEO agencies and it's actually found us a bunch of keywords like you can see right here. It's also looking through the keyword difficulty section. Let's see if it can actually, I don't think it's going to search. The only issue that I have is it's not that smart. So for example, usually what an SEO would do is they go to keyword explorer, search for example, like SEO agencies, and then they're going to start looking through like terms match filtering down to KD 10 or less, etc. And so it seems to do a few clicks here and there, but it doesn't seem to be able to figure out, okay, I should filter down for keyword difficulty and that sort of thing. So I'm going to narrow this down, say, find some low competition keywords related to SEO agencies and SEO agency you can rank for, find me the best opportunities on address. So let's give that a whirl, see how it performs. The other thing I'd be interested to know is, okay, if you're using GPT 4.0 or you're using Claude 3.5 Sonnet as the API, do you get better outputs and is it more useful? So maybe we can test that in a minute. Yeah, you can see here that it's not that useful when it comes to this information. What I'm also going to say from here then is I'm going to go to query now. I'm going to say, give me a list of keywords from the page that I can rank for. And let's see if it can actually extract information from the page. So you can see, so actually what it's done is it's taken the keywords from the also rank for section and then given us that list right there and extracted it for us. So actions is more like interacting with the screen and then query is more like taking the information from the screen and breaking it down into a simpler format for you. So it's not just good for actually like running actions, but it's also good for taking the data from the outputs that you get and then extracting the most relevant stuff for you. For example, like a list of keywords. Let's see if it can do other stuff. For example, write a tweet for me. I'm going to hit run on that and see what it does. And it seems to be planning out, sending a message. Not so great there. Not so great outputs. So it's good for some stuff like, for example, going on Google Docs, editing documents, etc. It's really bad for actually interacting with social media directly. I don't think it's going to replace us on Twitter or anything like that anytime soon. What I'm going to say now is like create a spreadsheet plan of my blogs for the next three months for my SEO website. Let's see what it does inside Google Sheets here, whether it can interact with it properly, whether it figures out what's going on here. So it's doing something in the top left there. Certainly having a cheeky think about it. So it's actually renamed the name of the document, SEO blog plan, next three months. But the outputs were pretty terrible. Now what I've actually done here in the edit section is just select Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, which is a more recent version of the APIs and just see if that's a bit smart here. So let's see how that goes. So now we're going to get it to interact with Google. As you can see, we've actually got it to search the price of Bitcoin. And it's done that for us here. So actually did a Google search, started using the web for us, and then found the price of Bitcoin, as you can see. So it can interact with search engines, with Google Docs. Honestly, it's super rough and wild. Honestly, day to day, it's not bad, but it's not that practical from what I can see. I've, I think it's going to be a long time before we actually automate it everything on screen if this is the sort of stuff we're dealing with because for example it doesn't always work perfectly it is a bit messy it is a bit clunky it doesn't seem to interact with the screen as well as i'd normally like 
it's definitely still a bit wild in terms of following instructions. It's promising, but at the same time, it's not 100% ready by any means in the imagination. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get examples of the code that we've used, along with some more examples of how we set up agents. So for example, you can see how I build AI SEO agents with no code. And we have a whole AI agent section here, including how you can implement DeepSeek with Vector Shift, which I would say is a lot more powerful than controlling your browser right now. Additionally, if you want to get the notes from today, just get that inside my free SEO course link in the comments description, go to free SEO tools, and then go to mid scene JS agents. There's so many tutorials and SAPs on how to use AI to leverage your business and to grow it. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, so you'll get a custom tailored link building game plan so that you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building and we'll answer any questions you have one to one. Additionally, you'll learn the best link building strategies for your site and how to quickly outrank your competitors to link building based on how we 10x our SEO traffic. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. Appreciate you watching. Bye bye.